Hello everyone, it's me, Rob. Now I know you're waiting to watch your Draw With Rob video, but I hope you don't mind because I thought I'd pop up here and tell you about something super exciting. I know lots of you have enjoyed my Draw With Rob activity books. Well, guess what? There's a new one. This one here is called Draw With Rob, Build A Story. And as the title suggests, it's all about how to build your very own story. So we're gonna be talking about what characters you can include in your story, where are you gonna set your story? Whereabouts in the world? Maybe it's not even gonna be set in this world. Maybe it's gonna be set in outer space. When are you gonna set your story? Is it gonna be in the present day, in the past, or in the future? We're gonna be talking about beginnings, middles, and endings. Um, things like plot twists. We need some unexpected things to happen in our story. But it's all gonna be done via lots of fun activities. So we have lots of your regular draw-alongs. Hang on, let me see if I can find a good one for you. Here we go, a superhero bear draw-along. We've got your frames here. Every page is perforated. Make it easy to tear out and stick up on your wall. We've got lots of other activities too, puzzles, colouring. So it's really super fun. And then right at the end, we have some blank pages for you to write your own story on and draw the pictures. And then you can tear them out, staple them together and make your own book. So it's super cool. You're not going to need me at all soon because you're going to be writing your own stories. Hopefully that's the case. And one day, who knows, maybe I will go into a bookshop, buy your book, and you can sign it for me. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Now, I know you're desperate to watch this Draw With Rob video, so I'm gonna leave you alone. I'll just tell you that you can order the brand new Draw With Rob book from wherever you get your books right now. So why don't you go and do that? Okay, Rob, it's over to you. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob. With me, Rob Biddulph. Now I am a children's author and illustrator. I have written lots of books, um, quite a few of which are about dogs, including this one, Odd Dog Out, which is all about a sausage dog who doesn't fit in with the other sausage dogs. And so she has to go somewhere where she does fit in. And in the process of doing that, she realizes that maybe it's good to be yourself. Look, there you go. Blazer Trail, be who you are. Lots of different sausage dogs. In that book, I've also written this one. This is my latest book at the time of recording. It's called Dog Gone, all about Teddy the Pug, who uh, loses his human whilst out on a dog walk. Look at that, lots of dogs in this one too. Lots of different breeds of dog in this one too, including my dog, Ringo, who makes a little cameo appearance at the end. But today, as per usual, we are here to do a little drawing together. Is that in the middle? I think that's about in the middle. And I'm excited about this one um, because we have drawn, I think back video number 32, if you go onto my YouTube channel or wherever you're watching this video and find video number 32, you will see that we drew a butterfly. So I think it's only fair that we draw the creature that turns into a butterfly. We're gonna draw a caterpillar. Super fun, super fun. This is a good one, this. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil, something to draw with, I think. What shall I use? I'm gonna use my brush pen today. Um, uh, uh, you might need, if you're gonna use a pen, you might need a pencil as well. I'll show you why in a minute. It's a bit, we're gonna do something slightly different today. Um, and then maybe a bit later, you might need something to color with. If you haven't got anything to color with, don't worry, you can just use your pen or your pencil to do some coloring. Right, in case you've never seen an episode of Draw with Rob before, this is how it works. Lots of children tell me they don't think they're very good at drawing. I say, do you know what? Everybody can draw. It's just a question of knowing the order to do the drawing, drawing in. And that's where I come in because I'm going to show you how to do this drawing step by step. So that means I'm going to draw a little bit of the drawing on my piece of paper. Then you can pause this video, copy exactly what I do, start me up again. I will draw some more. Pause me, you draw, start me up, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And by the end, we're going to end up, we're going to blah, blah, start again. By the end, we're going to end up with a lovely work of art. I promise you. Right. Should we start? Okay, so what I want you to do this time, we are going to draw our caterpillar. It's going to be quite a long drawing, this one. So we need to start right over on the left-hand side, okay? So I want you to start by drawing a kind of, what do you call this shape? It's like a rectangle, but it's got rounded corners, like that, 
can you see I've done mine at a very slight angle like that okay the reason for that will become clear quite soon now this is going to be the head of our caterpillar and what we're going to do today we're going to start we're going to draw the head before we draw any of the body okay so the next thing I want you to draw is on the right hand side of this shape I want you to draw a circle like that okay and then guess what we're going to do another circle on this side that's right we are starting off with the eyes of our little caterpillar today I'll just change to my thinner pen to do the pupils so the pupils as per usual now we are going to draw this character looking straight at us so we need to draw it pretty much in the center we're going to draw a smaller circle like that that we color in and look straight away our little character is starting to wake up there we go and what have we done we've drawn one two three four five shapes and we have a little personality starting to emerge let's give our little character a little smile right in the middle of these two eyes sort of towards the bottom look at that very cute straight away should we add a bit of detail to our character's eyes today let's give him or her some eyelashes what we're going to do here we're going to draw lines that sort of come from the side of the eye and break out of the side of the face like that so nice long eyelashes I'm gonna do four you can do as many as you want like that and then do you remember I've told you this before but eyebrows are very important with these characters we want our character to look nice and happy so I'm gonna add two little eyebrows right at the top of the head like that and then the final detail for our caterpillars head is my I think this might be my favorite bit of the drawing you know how much you guys already know how much I like drawing swirls don't you well we need to draw a couple of antennae on our caterpillars head this is how I'm gonna do it so find the middle of the head so the bit directly above the mouth then move slightly to the right and we're gonna draw a big curvy shape that comes out like this and then just curls around in a little spiral yes you know if you look at my signature on my books there you go can you see the way that I do the R has got a little spiral and on the P as well and when I draw characters nostrils I always do little spirals too and ears too so I like to include lots of little spirals in my drawing I don't know why it's just fun like that and you have to make that sound when you draw a spiral so let's draw the other antenna shall we here we go we're gonna come up and around <laughs> and make that little sound please that is part of the drawing <laughs> so there we go we have started our caterpillar with a lovely little head right up in the top top left hand corner of our piece of paper now do you remember I said you might need a pencil as well as a pen for this bit of drawing and that is for this reason here our caterpillar is going to have obviously a nice long body I'm going to do it sort of wiggling across the page like that but we're going to make this body up with little kind of segments so we're going to draw lots of the you know the shape that first shape we drew we're going to do lots of those shapes but we need them to sort of follow a line so a good little trick I want you to take a pencil and very lightly I want you to draw the line that we are going to follow so I think I'm going to come down from the head and curve around towards the bottom of our page I'm going to go along a little bit then I'm going to go up and down we want it to be nice and wiggly and then I'm just going to stop in a straight line there okay so that is the line I th hopefully you can see that I've drawn it very lightly can you see that that is the line I'm going to follow for my caterpillar's body shape but because we're not just drawing it in a straight line we're doing it in segments it helps to have a guide and if you press quite lightly then after we finished if you're if you are drawing in pen after we finish you could rub that out otherwise you can just shade over the top of it when we get to the end okay and it will, it will disappear trust me so now what we need to do is this segmented caterpillar body so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna draw as I said I'm gonna draw exactly the same shape that I started with but I'm gonna do it a little bit smaller so I'm gonna do it about this size okay and I'm going to try and keep that pencil line that we drew in the middle of the shape roughly then let's draw another one again we're just keeping it in the middle try and make them roughly the same size but as I always say it doesn't matter if it's not exactly the same I think it's quite nice to have a little bit of variety in there 
and it gives our, our drawing a bit more personality if we do that, don't we? So can you see, I'm just drawing the same shape again and again, and I'm just following my pencil line, trying to keep it roughly in the middle of each shape. And then what you do, when you get to the bottom here, when it curves around, we're gonna start changing the angle of our, what should we call this shape? It's like a sort of a round cornered rectangle, isn't it, I guess? So each round cornered rectangle, I'm just gonna change the angle slightly so it sort of follows the angle of our line. Do you see what I mean? So it sort of like curves around, which is actually how a caterpillar's body works. It's in segments so that it can kind of bend and curl and wriggle and stuff like that. So as we follow the line, the shapes rotate. So you can do it quite quickly, but do you see why I drew the line? It makes it much, much easier than if you didn't have it, because it really gives you something to follow. So that one's gonna curl around there. That's gonna curl around there. And I think, let me think about this. Towards the end of our caterpillar's body, I think this shape should get maybe a little bit smaller. Do you know what? I'm going to turn mine upside down to finish it off because I, I'm very worried about smudging. So I'm just going to turn it upside down. That's another thing that I do quite often. I try not to do it too much when I'm doing these videos because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing at all times from the right way up. But sometimes it's really good to just rotate your drawing. So yes, I'm going to get it. I'm going to start getting smaller and smaller with these as I get towards the end. And then the final one, let's do two more. Do one there, and then the final one there, like that. And then look, there we go. A very simple caterpillar shape. And I followed my little line. So what I might do, before I do my colouring, I might, because I've done everything else in pen, I can just rub out over the top of the pen and the rubber, it won't rub out the pen, but it will rub out the pencil. But again, if you've drawn the whole thing in pencil, don't worry, because actually it doesn't look too bad. It looks almost like part of the caterpillar's pattern, but otherwise you can just color over the top of it. Right, now we haven't finished because we need to give our caterpillar lots of pairs of legs, don't we? So, and arms actually. So I think it's a cartoon caterpillar, okay? So the, the arms, the, the legs at the top are gonna sort of act a bit like arms. And this is how we do our caterpillar arms. It's really, really simple. We are gonna draw two little lines coming out of each side of that top one with a little circle at the end. And they're gonna be his or her little hands. We'll do the same here. Like that, the little hands coming off the side of our cartoon caterpillar. We'll do, I think in all these ones, sort of the ones where the body is almost vertical, we'll make these arms like that. Let's have a look. Let's make this one arms too. This will be the last one where it's just arms. There we go. No, no, this one can be arms too. Here we go. Do one more. One, two. And then when we get to this bottom one, we're going to turn them into legs so that our caterpillar is kind of walking. So this time we're going to do two little vertical lines coming off that one. And we're just going to add the little circles. We're going to do them pointing forwards so they look a bit more like sort of feet. Like that. There we go. Starts to look nice and caterpillary now. And we need to add a pair of legs and feet to every single one of these. So do you know what? To save you watching me do all of that, I'm going to go into super speed mode now. Okay, so I'll see you back here in about five seconds with a caterpillar full of legs. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Okay, there we go. All the legs, it got a bit crowded up here. <laughs> so I had to sort of cram them in a bit. That's fine. That's fine. We don't worry about that, do we? A little bit crowded around there. And I don't know, do caterpillars have little tails? I don't think they do really, but my one has <laughs> a little tail wagging at the end like a dog <laughs> you know it's a cartoon you can make up your own rules to a certain extent while i was doing that i just remembered my daughter poppy uh couldn't say caterpillar when she was little she called it a calipitter so um in our family these are always known as calipitters 
There's certain things we, we didn't correct. We didn't correct them when they were little because they were so cute. So that she she doesn't say Calipita anymore, unfortunately, but we, we still do, me and my wife. <laughs> the other one is um, she couldn't say blueberries. So she used to say blueberries. She knew there was a lot of sort of blah, 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 sort of sounds in so she used to say blueberries. So we still say that too. Silly, isn't it? Right, so there we go. Caterpillar, super simple to draw, but super fun. And even more fun, I think, to color in. So, shall we do some coloring? This is a perfect one to do multicolors, isn't it? You can do each segment a different color. You could do each segment a different pattern. Now that would be fun, that would be fun. I think mine's gonna be a rainbow color to Caterpillar. Obviously, you know I like doing that. So I'm gonna go into super speed mode to color mine in. And then when we've colored, we've got a couple more little bits and pieces that I thought it might be fun to add. So I will see you back here in about 20 or 30 seconds with a fully colored in Caterpillar. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. So there we go, there is my finished caterpillar. You will see that I've left a little white circle on some of these, sort of the top left hand side of these and that's to make it look like it's shiny. The, each little segment is shiny. If you leave a little white bit, a little white circle in one corner, it makes it look like whatever you're drawing is a bit shiny. So I think these look a little bit like sweeties now, don't they? Do you, you know Tutti Fruities? <laughs> Looks like this caterpillar is made of Tutti Fruities. Mm, delicious. Um, so there you go, and you can see I followed a kind of rainbow pattern of colour. So I started with a green head and then I sort of went through the rainbow. So I went from green to blue into purple and pinks and then into reds and oranges and yellows and then back to greens, back to the beginning. Green, blue, purple, pinks and reds. And it makes it look like a nice sort of flowing pattern. Lovely, I love this this little chap. And the last thing that I did, you know I've got that my favorite color. You can tell it's my favorite color because the pencil now is so small. This sort of aqua marine sort of color that I like to use for shadows in my drawings. In fact, I've got a slightly darker shade here, which I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add a bit of slightly darker shade right next to the feet. But can you see what I've done? I've just done it around, sort of in a horizontal line by the feet that are on the floor because the rest of it's sort of lifted up into the air. And it just sort of makes your drawing look a bit more kind of three dimensional if you do this. So yeah, I'm just adding a bit of darker shading right next to the feet. Do you see what I mean? So it looks like these bits are on the floor and these bits are floating up into the air. Now, do you remember I said I was gonna add a couple of details? I thought it would be rather nice if our caterpillar was holding a little leaf here. So what we're gonna do, a tiny little line coming out of that hand, and then we're gonna do a leaf shape like this, but we are gonna have a little bite mark out of our leaf shape. So just add a few little sort of teeth marks like that and join your leaf back up. And I think that would be quite nice. And then let's give him another leaf or her another leaf here. Just holding a couple of leaves as little snacks. So just sort of teardrop shapes like that and we can color them in where's a nice pale well nice bright green i think add a bit of bright green to our leaf here oh it's picked up a bit of the ink that's all right that's no problem it's still a bit wet i guess because when you just drawn it there we go a bit of green there i'm going to get a slightly darker green see if i can cover over some of those ink smudges so whenever there's a little mistake like those ink smudges you just like to keep drawing you will be able to cover them up with a slightly darker green. You can still see them a bit, but I don't think that matters. And then I'm going to get my very dark green, and that's when we add our little leaf pattern. So some nice little lines on our leaf. This one straight through the bite mark. A few little lines either side. And there we go. Our very hungry caterpillar. Have you, have you read that book by Eric Carle? Of course you have. It's an absolute classic. One of my favourites, the one with the caterpillar eats lots of different fruits and foods and cakes and things. And there's little bite marks and holes throughout the whole book. It's such a work of genius, a classic. And this caterpillar, I think, is equally as hungry as that one. So there we go. There's our finished caterpillar. Don't forget, guys, you need to sign your drawings so everyone knows who's created this wonderful work of art. 
There we go, Rob. What do you think? I like, I like him or her, and I think he or she will turn into a beautiful butterfly one day. So there we go, a nice little companion drawing to video number 32, the butterfly one. I hope you've had a lot of fun drawing this. I've certainly had fun showing you how to draw it. I would love to see all your drawings. If you get your grown up to take a picture of your drawing and then post it with the draw with Rob hashtag on social media, that way I will get to see it. And I can't wait to see your caterpillars. Hopefully you've got some lovely multicolored drawings. Maybe you've done little patterns on each of your segments, heart shapes or star shapes or stripes, whatever. I can't wait to see your drawings. Right, that's it from me today. I'm gonna be back very soon with another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, keep on drawing everybody. Keep those pencils sharpened and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.